On this virtual tour stop, I want to introduce you to a silvicultural treatment aimed at density management that we call pre-commercial thinning. So I use the word pre-commercial uh, before I say thinning in that, mainly because the types of material that we're cutting down in this pre-commercial thinning operation has not yet reached a merchantable size. With the exception of a few weird chip markets out there, I've seen some of the stuff get used for hog fuel, kind of like an industrial burning waste. Um, for the most part, this smaller diameter material that we drop in a pre-commercial thinning operation, it's not quite pulpwood size. We can't really use it for anything, so we cut it and we leave it. The way a practice like this works, and the reason we would do it, is oftentimes when we establish these plantations, in spite of our site preparation work that we conduct out here, we end up with natural seed that comes in from surrounding stands, or maybe our chemical treatments are insufficient, and we get a lot of natural seed from the previous stand. And while we might want a density, in this case, we planted this at about 600 shortleaf pine stems per acre. After about six, seven years in here, um, we were looking at upwards of 2,000 stems per acre in some spots. Density's that high, uh, not only does that suppress tree growth, um, specifically diameter growth amongst these trees, it reduces stand vigor. Uh, it also, you know, one of the consequences of that is that the stand itself is less, uh, is more susceptible to forest pest issues like uh, southern pine beetle or ips or black turpentine or anything like that, where if the trees are stressed out due to being in a high density environment, um, they're less likely to survive those attacks. They can't really you know, push the insect out and, and survive it. So we come in with crews with brush saws and that's basically just a, um, it's like an industrial weed eater with a saw, circular saw blade on the end of it. And they saw down these uh, trees and leave trees uh, to a defined residual density. In this case, we wanted to retain about 300 trees per acre. So we gave them a target um, spacing of about 11 by 11 feet and they did a pretty good job of, of doing that. Um, we had them leave the nicest quality stems that they could find on that spacing um, although we do give them some wiggle room to leave trees a little closer if it means leaving a better quality tree and because we want shortleaf on the site we went ahead and had them leave as much shortleaf as they could. That said if there was a big nice quality loblolly where a shortleaf was growing they left the loblolly. Um, as you'll see in later stops, we actually have them work hardwood in in certain spots too. But um, that's the gist of pre-commercial thinning operations. Uh, it's a density management practice. We're not really going, truthfully it's more of a density management. We're not really going for like a timber stand improvement type of thing in here. Um, but really uh, we kind of work together on those things. We kind of blend the different uh, treatments. So for example, another thing we did in, in, in addition to controlling density in here is we sanitized the stand. We did a sanitation cut. So if we look down at this one, you can see the gall right here. That's fusiform rust, which is very common uh, in this part of the Piedmont, unfortunately. So while they're in here controlling our density, we have them basically cut out the uh, fusiform effect, infected trees. So it's a good practice. We utilize it uh, pretty heavily here. Uh, one thing I do want to point out though is right behind me, you can see this bowed over uh, loblolly pine tree. Uh, that unfortunately is ice damage. So that's a pretty common thing to have happen uh, in the first couple of years following that pre-commercial thinning operation. You know, you take a stand from high density and then you reduce it to pretty low density. It, it takes those stems a while to kind of harden off and be a little bit more wind firm and more able to withstand the more open conditions. So for the first couple of years, uh, these stands can be very susceptible to ice damage and. and you're seeing that. This isn't a bad spot in here, but um, there's other portions out here where we received quite a bit of damage. So that's pre-commercial thinning in a nutshell. I will uh, go ahead and shut off and show you some other videos on some other treatments.